Hey guys, welcome back to Zephyr Fishing. This is Billy, back at you again with another video. Um, just stopping. I'm at, I'm going to Black uh, Walnut Point today. I'm going to fish. Um, we're just stopping by to the bait shop here. As you can see, it's called uh, Fairbank. Okay, let me change that up so you can see. It's called Fairbank Tackle. You can stop there to get bait along the way. It's like six minutes down the road, right before the drawbridge. All right, guys, we just arrived here. Looks like it's a low tide. I'm gonna throw some uh, paddle tails before I actually throw out live bait and see if I can get a rockfish or a trout, bluefish, whatever. Man, it's slow, guys. I've been walking around trying different spots, throwing my paddle tail out, trying different tempos, twitching it, retrieving it slow, retrieving it fast. Nothing. Switch to the cork popper, still nothing. Been working this for probably like 10 minutes, walking around different areas around here. Still nothing. All right, there's no big fish. Has to be small fish. We'll see. Uh, this, I'm running, ooh, we just had a hit. Yep, we're on. Yeah, I'm running um, Chesapeake Sabiki, Bloodworm Edition. Most likely a spot I have on right now. Yeah, normally when there's big fish, there's no small fish. Because all the small fish are hiding, trying to run away, not trying to be prey. Yeah, it looks like I got a small spot here. Plenty of fish, guys. Plenty of panfish, at least. I'm going to set up my surf casting rods here. Put some cut up spot on. All right, just baited one of my surf rods up. I'm just gonna use one rod for now. I just don't feel like setting up too many things right now. And now we wait. Let's put this down over here. All right, just got more bait. Back to work. Already nibbles. There we go. Oh, that was a no. Oh, 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 we're on. Sometimes they just run towards me and I don't know if I'm on or not, so. No croakers, no white perch. Only spot today. There he goes. Nibble, 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 we're on. It's all a small fish. I mean, I've caught like maybe two, like jumbos, but that's about it. All these, oh, that, he got off too. He got off, it's all right. It saves me time, I don't have to get him off the plier. Ooh, just like that. This is non-stop action, guys. It's so fun. You have to wait around. You just throw down, you get a bite. Throw the fish back. The tug is the drug. There we go. I think we're, so I think it's like a, a, a major period or a minor period right now. We'll have to check um, at the end of the day here when I do a recap. All right, out of bait on the lower, the lower hook. Top one, of the hook exposing, but there's just so aggressive right now, it doesn't even matter. 
Nibbles, we're on. Oh, he got off, he got off. Yeah. See, yeah, we're on. Whoa, 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 he's running. Another spot. Oh, he got off in that little hole. All right. Oh, something's on, something's on, something's on that big rod. Oh, almost fell in the water too. Look at that running guys, something's on. Let me put this uh, down, I don't want to damage my reel. Oh man, look at him pulling drag. Look at that, look at that. It's probably stingray guys. I'm just gonna let him spool me here. Get him tired. That's insane. Ooh. Yeah, oh, oh, no, 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 no. I got, oh, I got off. He got off. Oh, I don't know what, I might have to try different hooks or something. Maybe he was, he's maybe just nibbled like a hell, held the bait in his mouth and not actually got hooked. So this happened multiple times. Like you guys saw in my Solomon's Island video and um, what are, where else? Point lookout video. It is what it is. Let's see if I lost a hook or what. But like he pulled a lot of my line out. Definitely a stingray, no doubt. Yeah, it looks like I lost, lost something. It feels super light. I think I lost my sinker. Yeah, I lost, lost my hook, lost my sinker. Wow. All right, I'm just gonna improv improvise, do some bootleg setup. Uh, I just wanna be quick. If there's fish, if the big fish around, then I gotta get my line back out. Just gonna do uni knot. Make sure you guys clench it down. There we are. I'm gonna probably get my other rod too out. It's like bootleg Carolina rig. <laughs> Alrighty. Gonna get both my surf rods out here. All right, that's one. Oh, I think I have a knot up here. That could have been bad. All right, now we're good. What the heck? Whatever, that's two. All right, so I know what happened last time when I didn't cast this correctly, I had a wind knot. Oh man, it's gonna be a drag. Just had a hit, hit. We, we, we have something on. Got a stingray, definitely got a stingray. Look at him pulling, he's ripping drag. <gasps> holy cow, holy cow, holy cow. I think he might've gotten off. Did he rip me off? No, we're still on guys. All right, I'm gonna fight him back over here. It's too dangerous. I think we're still on? It might be a bluefish or something. It's not pulling as hard as you saw in the footage. Fix this up here. Am I? Yeah, I think we're still on here. It might be a bluefish if it's... Oh, whoa, 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 what is this? What is this? Yeah, probably it is a bluefish if it's pulling like this. What is this? I don't want to get it snagged. Oh, it's a skate. Come on, man. Get off. Oh, his mouth is ripping. Oh, there he goes. Safe relief. See you, buddy. Thanks for the fight. All right, we're gonna head off to another location here. I'm gonna move on down, I'm trying to get bigger fish. I'm gonna try out the point. See how we do over there. All right. All right, guys, just got over here at this end. Looks like we got the same size spot, honestly. I'm trying to get some something bigger here. Oh. Got a flounder on, guys. I 
guess, perks of changing locations, different species. Small, small flounder though. We'll throw them back here. Ooh. There he goes. He'll get out of there when it's high tide. I'm just gonna try my popping cork and my paddle tail around this corner before heading out. So now that the, ch the tide's changed, let's see what we can do. I really want to go over here, but you can't trespass this Navyville laboratory because the water's literally ripping really hard over there, and I know it's going to be rockfish and bigger game fish. But right now, I'm just gonna work the water column, the edges. See if there's a trout or a bluefish, whatever that hangs around here. I'm trying to target or ambush smaller fish. This is the action of this paddle tail. I'll try the paddle tail now. I'm surprised there's no bluefish. It's like late August now. Maybe maybe come end of September or mid-September. All right guys, today we fished a slack tide to a low to a slack. Came here around 12 p.m. Left around 4 p.m. I would say when it says average fish activity. Moving along here, I think we fish three days after a full moon. It says one, it shows one fish sign means average activity, 84 coefficient. And I believe we fish a major period right here as well, 2.38 p.m. to 4.38 p.m. That's when you saw me throwing out my line and gaining a spot left and right. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to the next video. Remember to smash that like button, give us a comment, and subscribe. Everything I use is under the description below, so check that out as well.